Hey friend, welcome back to another Sage audio video. Today I'll be showing you how to learn as much about your plugin as possible. Now this is something that's really helpful if you just downloaded a new plugin or maybe you're a little bit new to audio and you need kind of uh, an explanation as to what's happening in a plugin. Um, so stick around for the full video. I'll be going over Waves plugins, uh, FabFilter, and Isotope, where they keep certain information and how you can access it, as well as a couple different ways that they present this information to you. So again, stick around for the full video. I think it's something that's gonna be pretty helpful for you. Uh, but before we get into it, if you enjoy this video, if this is something that you find helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Also, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. There is a subscribe button and a little bell icon below the video. So if you click the subscribe button and then the bell icon, you'll stay up to date on all of our content. And then lastly, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll send you a free mastered sample of that mix. So what I have here is a stereo mix, but what's more important than that, I have this plugin here. Essentially, if this was the first time looking at this plugin, I can see an input and an output, and I could understand what that was, and then maybe the AX mix, I could assume that this was the effect, and this is how much I blended it in. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily understand what was happening over here. I would see BP, mix one, mix two, AX, um, and I could make assumptions about this, but I wouldn't really understand exactly what's happening unless I looked it up. Now I could go to Google or maybe YouTube, and this, um, this would be helpful, but it would probably take a while to find the specific information that I need um, because, you know, it is so specific that um, most searches aren't going to come up with this, you know, specific information. So what, the, what I can do is click this, um, this question mark icon here. Essentially, whenever you download new software or audio software in particular, you're also downloading the manual to that software in the form of a PDF that then gets stored on your computer. So if you click this question mark here, it might take a second, but your computer will find uh, this information. You can see that you have a, uh, a manual about the, uh, the entirety of your, your plugin with um, you know, table of contents if you need certain information. Um, and this is written by the actual developers of the software, so it's really comprehensive. It's uh, really good explanations as to what's happening um, and really helpful. So uh, just to answer a question from before, you can see you got mix one here. It looks like that's pretty much like a, a send, like an aux send or a bus send or something like that. So you have your input or your original signal going directly to your output, and it's also broken off to another signal that's going through the plugin. Uh, mix 2, it just goes directly through the plugin, so if you wanted more of the effect, it'd probably go for Mix 2. And then we can see up here with um, the BP, which I thought was a bypass, but it's not really that. It looks like there is a low-cut high-pass filter and a high-cut low-pass filter that's happening here. So there's a lot happening with that and with the AX function as well. So uh, definitely learned a lot just by clicking that little question mark and scrolling through and trying to find the relevant information. Now let's look at a, uh, another example. So let's say I have this uh, compressor here. I know what makeup gain is, I know what a threshold is, ratio, attack, uh, release. And these are all things that I understand, but let's see what is uh, PDR, you know. Again, just click that question mark. It's gonna pop up with a, um, you know, with a another manual with a lot of good information in it. And I can scroll down, I can see, oh, that's program dependent release. I could read all of this, I could get a good comprehensive understanding as to what's actually happening. And then that would make me probably a little bit of a better mixing engineer um, or, you know, a tracking engineer or, you know, mastering whatever it is that you're doing um, because you have a better understanding of the software that you're using. Um, let's look at a, another example with a different software type. So again, with Waves, just that question mark right there, it's going to pull up any manual that got downloaded onto your computer. A uh, similar thing here, if I'm looking at a, uh, the Ozone 6 Maximizer, I, uh, I can hover over things and it will give me, you know, some, uh, some quick explanations, so smooth and sick, thick, limiting for rich sound, um, clear and sharp, and that kind of gives me a good idea, um, but, you know, not too, too much. Also, you can see, like, transient emphasis. I have little graphics here that it's trying to tell me exactly what's happening, but say I wanted to go, you know, in depth and um, get a bit more detail as to what's actually happening here. There's a question mark down here. And again, it's gonna pull up a PDF that got downloaded onto my computer, and it's gonna have a lot of information. So I could learn a lot more about these functions than what I normally could just by looking at them. Um, and again, it would probably be helpful to look on YouTube or Google or things like that, but if you're looking for the quickest way to find the most information and de detailed information about these plugins, then this is a, a good way to do so. Now let's take a look at um, FabFilter. 
And uh, FabFilter does something that's a little bit different. Essentially, over here in the help section, you can turn on interactive help hints, which you can do in you know Logic and a lot of different softwares. Um, but theirs are actually pretty detailed. So if I was to hover over release, it's gonna give me a pretty detailed description as to what the release knob does. Same with uh, transients. Um, and the release time here, look ahead, it's going to give me a detailed explanation as to what's actually happening. Now with the, um, the you know, algorithm style here, it doesn't tell me exactly what's happening with each one. So if I wanted more information about this, I could go to their website, download the uh, manual and read through it. So I, I hope this has been helpful for you. It's definitely not um, a quick quick solution. You're still going to have to do some work. You're still going to have to read through things and, and you know, test things out a little bit. But having this information uh, readily available, which a lot of these plugin companies, you know, have for you, is something that's really helpful um, if you're uh, if you're trying to understand what all is happening in your plugins. I know there's been a lot of times that I'm looking at a plugin that I thought I understood and I thought I knew everything about, um, and then I read the manual and I understand now that it has so much uh, more functionality. There's so many more things that I can do with it. So I definitely recommend you know clicking that little question mark or going to the website and downloading the manual so that you can understand as much about your plugins as you possibly can. But I hope that's been helpful. That's a quick and easy way to get to that information. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Again, it's just that little subscribe button and that little bell icon below the video. And if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll send you a free mastered sample of that. So what did you all think? Did you find this helpful? Did you not find it helpful? If you found it helpful, comment yes in the comment section below. If you didn't, you know, comment no, maybe why. We'd also love to hear from you in terms of future videos that you want to you wanna see. So leave all that in the comment section. We'll, you know, definitely read it and, and create videos based on what you want to what, what see. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.